Hey guys, I just wanted to show you um, a, a API that I came across called Steady. Um, Steady is a company that provides uh, some different APIs for some conversions between um, different kinds of files, CSV, XML, and even EDI. So what I was looking for was an EDI uh, parser and it did exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm in Workado right now. This is a recipe that I'm looking at. If you're not familiar with Workado, that's this is what it looks like. Um, so I have a recipe here that's going to trigger. In this case, I configured it to every five hours. It's going to go and look in a Google Cloud storage, basically in a bucket, looking for incoming um, purchase order files like PO850 files, uh, which is a typical EDI file for e-commerce transactions. It's going to then loop over those um, files that it found. It's going to um, look for the, the files that we care about, the PO850 files that in this case all start with PO850 underscore. And we're going to add those into a list. So it's a very common thing to do in Workado to accumulate things onto a list and then later on process that list. So down here I'm processing all of the PO files that were found. I'm going to download them from uh, from the Google Cloud Storage. So up here I was just getting a listing of all the files within a bucket. And down here I am downloading those files. And so I would download each file one at a time. And um, I'm actually uh, here I'm doing a little bit of, I think I'm doing a little bit of transformation or um, Let's see what am I what am I doing here? Yeah, so I'm converting um, all of my carriage returns and line feeds into a backslash a simple backslash n in the file. Um, apparently, there's a way to just have the API automatically take care of this, but I figured this out before I found that, so I just have that code in there. And then I call the the API. So this is calling the steady API. I basically just do a uh, post to this URL and the uh, authentication or the API key that I'm using is set up in a connector um, that I had previously set up so I don't have to do that each time I can just call their API use that connector and then tell it what URL I want to call and what data I want to pass so in this case I'm going to pass some EDI uh, input I want it to translate it into what they call Jetty which is a JSON representation of, e of an EDI file. And then I'm actually passing in my EDI content that I had encoded, encoded with those uh, carriage return with a backslash N, right? Um, and so uh, I can go over here to my test. So I can, this is, you know, I'm viewing a previous test that I ran on this and I can look at the parsing that it did. So um, we pass the EDI file in and so here's the EDI uh, content and then the output is here and if I do expand data it kind of formats a little bit better this is all headers here's the response and you can see the response is it parsed that whole file into a bunch of JSON okay and so um, everything about that uh, e-commerce purchase order is in there so let me show you a little bit about more more about steady so steady.com uh, i went to products and then edi core and i'm looking at this page here and it kind of shows you the same thing where you input an edi file outputs a json object so that's just amazing um you know and workado is great because it has um a json parser um let's see what else does it have i'm just going to go in here and show you this real quick. I'm going to go back to, to the recipe, which is basically back in edit mode. I'm going to click the plus sign here and add an action. And um, you have all different kinds of actions. These are the ones that I've used recently. Um, I'm just going to type in parse and you can see there's a JSON parser that's built in, um, an XML parser, a YAML parser, and basically a CSV parser. Um, and then there's this parse hub and doc parser, which I haven't really used much I forget what they were I looked them up the other day but they didn't seem as useful but these are external APIs um, so these these parsers are built in but in this case um, the uh, EDI file parser is not built in so I was able to find this steady.com and use their 
um, use their system. And so uh, I always forget where this is. I think it's under, oh, that's right there. Resources EDI Inspector. Okay, if you go to that, you, you get to this. So you can simply paste in an EDI file. So I went over here and just grabbed a sample EDI file off of a, off of a website, pasted that in. Here, I'll do it again just so you can see it in real time. Oops. Yeah. Do that. Do that. Okay, it's not going to cooperate. Here we go. Okay, copy that. Come over here and just delete this out. And it tells you to either drag and drop a, drop a file or paste it in. So I'm just going to paste it in. <clears throat> and it... Uh, tells me that my file is in valid format and then it has completely picked apart that file over here and as I'm hovering over things on the right hand side it shows me on the left hand side what those are where that data is and I was trying to see if I could do the opposite way I guess not um, but now you can completely make heads and tails of your EDI files and what's you know what's contained in them and be able to uh, pull them apart and really, f you know, see what's in there. So that's really fantastic. This just this inspector is a, a great help, but certainly then being able to um, use their API to uh, parse it out into a JSON object that then is a little bit more usable. And in Workado, of course, once that is parsed into JSON, then um, we can, you know, here, let me go back to here. <clears throat> so this is the definition of the the post that we did I showed you the input right but then you can also come in here and define the response schema so what you do is when you get one of those back you just copy and paste the JSON you copy the JSON that's returned come in here um, it'll, it'll look just like this um, where you want to describe the response schema and so you just say use JSON and then you paste in that JSON object that you got back and let me close this. Oh, yeah, I want to do that. Um, and then it does this. It does this mapping for you, right? And then that mapping uh, makes it to where every single one of these things becomes variables that you can then use in any subsequent Workato action. Yeah, so, I mean, Workato is amazing <laughs> because um, it, it has things like this where you can just simply copy and paste in a JSON uh, result from an API and it automatically maps out all the data for you and of course you can go in here to edit schema and you can edit things so if you wanted to change the name of something like the label you could change the label of it things like that um, to make it more easy to use for you and things you know things of that nature um, and then you pair that up with uh, steady if you need to do EDI type of uh, transactions then you're in you're in heaven if you're an EDI person. So just wanted to record this video and show you guys uh, how to use this. All right. Have a good day. Bye.